The bomb on the bridge, apparently. No. Suspicions were raised when a hijacked van... Oh, dear God, no. Does this mean they can't get to school? I've had a whole summer of it, Jerry. She's melting my head. Sure, their bus can go the long way around. I'll get it. Major traffic disruptions right, are anticipated. Then Wayne shouldn't have to take the bus to school. You should be driving them. You useless shit. I have to work, Joe. Work? <laughs> Is that what you call it? Yes. Why don't you just leave my Mary alone? Because we've been married for 17 years, Joe. We have two children. And because we're in love with each other. Oh, folk. I find some dirt in you yet, boy. I've got people working on it. Step into your trust fund, of course. No bother at all. Passes in the phone. I just need to ring the bank. <laughs> Stem 654321, that's the account number and the password. What is it again? What was it now? Oh, why? Catch your cell phone. Dad, for God's sake, will you turn that down? I have turned it down. It's at zero. You will have an opportunity there. I don't know how he does it. Are you telling me I don't have a trust fund? There you go. You're not as slow as you look. Do I have a trust fund, Mary? Listen, girls, there are no trust funds. There are no funds, period. For God's sake! Okay. That's one portion of redfish, one portion of whitefish, two bags of chips. No, no, no. Two bags won't be enough. Two's plenty, Joe. Four. Four should cover us. Three, then. We'll compromise. I'll compromise you through that window. That's enough, dear. The tight bastard's trying to starve us all, Mary. OK. Four bags of chips, then. And I want 12 chicken nuggets, a small battered oh. hot dog, plenty of onions, plenty of... Get a move on, Daddy. You got chippy? Well, it's every man for himself on a Friday night. I am trying to concentrate here, Erin. All right, Mommy. All right, love. Did you ask about the trust fund? I, I don't have one. I take it that means I don't have one? For the love of God. Will four bags be enough? More than enough. I say we need five to be safe. Do you not think that? Stick down, Faith. <sighs> Five bags of chips, then. I'll have a chicken fillet burger. No lettuce, no tomato, no cheese. I'll just write plain, will I? No onions, no cucumber. One plain. No relish, no pickles, no mayonnaise. No chicken. What do you mean, no chicken? Get that. <sighs> it's a chicken burger. Of course I want chicken. What are you? A simpleton? Oh. No chicken. Have you any news, Dad? Not really, no. Right. Shay Harkin was telling me you were in Duggan's bakery yesterday lunchtime. Well, that's hardly news. <laughs> Two buns, he says, you ordered. No, well, I often do. An apple turnover and a cream horn. A cream horn? That's not like you, Grandma. Sure, you couldn't pay you to eat a cream horn. Cream finger it was. Apple turnover and a cream finger. Cream horn, Shay said. Horns, fingers, who cares? He swore on it, said he saw it being bagged up. And big Shay, his eyes like a hawk, so he does. Shay said when you left Duggins, you turned up Pump Street. Pump Street? Who do you know on Pump Street, Dad? What were you doing heading up Pump Street with a cream horn, Dad? I was visiting a friend of mine. What friend? A new friend. A male friend, was it? Aye, I thought as much. Buying cream horns for his fancy woman, Sarah, what do you think of that? We met at the Stations of the Cross. What station? Jesus falls for a second time. I could do without the details, Dad. Maeve and me, we're... we just get on well, that's all. Maeve? That's her name, is it? Yes, that's right. Maeve? That's what she's called, is she? She is, aye. Maeve? Maeve? Really? Maeve? Why does your mother make that sound? I cannot believe this. I think it's a good thing, love. I just keep out of it, you. And that's who you were winking at in mass? Winking? Mm -hmm. At your age? Christ, I feel sick. It was only a friendly wink. There is no such thing as a friendly wink. Is there not? Our poor mother is barely cold. And you're straight back out there, winking away. Your mother's been dead ten years, Mary. Look, I'll not tell you again. I'm sorry. I seem to have lost my appetite. You happy now? All I'm saying is I find it difficult to believe. But it's the truth, Mary. Really? Honest to God. So if I was to go next door and open that washing basket of yours? You wouldn't find any darks. What, do you think I'm holding out on you? Oh, I don't know what to believe. Listen, I've plenty of colours. You're welcome to my colours. I'm not interested in your colours, Sarah. It's darks I need. Oh, listen, Dad. Do not be starting me about darks, Mary. I've given you whatever darks I have. Stick on a half load, me don't want a woman. A half load goes against everything I stand for. You know that, Dad. You waited to do the big shop, Dad? Aye. Jerry! Jerry! 
I don't see why that useless drip you call a husband has to get common. Because someone needs to drive and you've been suspended again. What did you do this time, Daddy? Nothing. So you see discrimination. The only crime I committed was to be born a Catholic. Jerry's never been suspended and he's a Catholic. He's also a prick, but that's by the bay. Cut that out, Dad. Found some. <gasps> Found some, Mary. Great. Right. That's us away. Have a nice time. Tell that priest dead <laughs> to shift his hole. I'm sure we will. I just cannot get my head around it. For the love of God, Mary, it's only a bowl. Who just gives away their big bowl, Jerry? It doesn't make sense. Well, she's definitely up to something, love. I have always said that Deirdre Mallon is a bit fly. I can confront her about it. No, I intend to. Great, do that. Then maybe we can lay the whole bloody thing to rest. Take that toe of her again, i lay you to rest, boy. Again called for cross-party peace talks. Just really dying for peace, like, isn't he? It's all he ever goes on about. I hope it works out for him. I, I sort of hope it works out for all of us there. Come on, girls. Time to hit the road here. Have they roped you into going as well, son? Roped Adam? Hardly. He's riding Gary Barlow. I'm not. I, I just respect him as a songwriter, that's all. I did on James, so we do. Well, we need our passports, Jerry. For Belfast. I don't think so, love. Belfast? We're not about early, Daddy. It's a two-hour drive of traffic, love. That stinks in Belfast. But it's eight hours till the doors open. I know. We're cutting it fine. Belfast? Sure, why don't you just sell away instead of white slavery and be done with it? Jerry, I'll be with them, Dad. Well, that's worse. So they hate his kind there. My kind? Pricks. That is enough. They're going to the concert, Dad. And that's the end of the matter. This document is an insult to the majority of people of Northern Ireland. It's All right, Ian, we get the idea, like. <laughs> what are you foot or not? Uh, the picture's just gone a bit sort of... Dear Jesus! You have to give it a bit of a shock now and again. You have to keep it on his toes. I'm not sure you do have to keep it on his toes, Joe. It's a television. <laughs> OK, OK, OK! I'm just going to turn it off and turn it on again. That usually does the trick. There we go. Hmm? Doesn't seem to be anything happening now. This stupid prick's broken the TV, Mary! For God's sake, Jerry! He's been footering. Excuse me, you're the one that was thumping us repeatedly, Joe. I'll thump you repeatedly. Well, the pair of you better sort it out. London's burning zone in 20 minutes. God, Mary, but them poor fellas flat out with fire, so they are. Jesus, but they never get a minute. Are you a woman? What kind of a bloody question is that, smart hole? OK, you seem to have a bit of a problem grasping the concept here, Joe. I'll tell you what I'm not in trouble grasping. Your neck. Oh, isn't this lovely? Are we wearing something belonging to her? Mary? Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, would you look here, then? Oh, my God. Sarah McCoon. Have you got a picture in the attic? Look away at that. She hasn't changed a bit, sir. She has. I well, a lot of work was into it. Look, but... Joe, Jerry, you keeping well? Not so bad. Not so bad. Uh, no complaints, love. I can't believe I've run into you. I'm not back a wet week. How are you fighting it? Strange, you know. But good. Good, strange. Look, I have to get off at the next stop. And my stuff's all the way up the other end, so. No bother at all. So good to see you again. You too. <laughs> Bye. Who was that? No idea. Don't know her from Adam. Then why did you pretend that you did? We could hardly break the girl, Jerry. That's the trouble with you Dubliners. You have no manners. I'm not from Dublin, Joe. Is he not? I'm from Navin. Sure, that's worse. Now is that worse? I don't know, but it's not better. Look, it's grand. She's gone now. We got away with it. We totally got away with it. I mean, it's incredible. Not a squeak. Slapping him might work. You're not slapping him, Joe. I don't want to slap him. I want you to slap him. Then he might slap you back, which I would enjoy. I was just wondering if we could scare the shit out of him, like jump out suddenly from behind something. That might get a rise out of him. Maybe. I don't know, Sean. That yeah, might be... the fellow might have a heart condition. Anything? This one's for Aaron. Oh, private and confidential. I stick the kettle on and we steam it up on there. That's actually a criminal offence, Sarah. Your face should be a criminal offence. Oh. Morning, Joe. I'm not going to steam up on my daughter's meal. Come on, nice, Sarah. There's a fine of time for that. National insurance card. Fuck, is that all? Honest to God. Is yours any more exciting? Jesus Christ! What? Jesus Christ! I don't believe this! What the hell is it? Is it something you want to tell us, Sarah? I'm thinking of going blonde. No, Sarah. Now, I know what you're going to say. It'll totally wash me out. Sarah! But with a couple of warm lowlights, I really think... Are you engaged to Cairn? What? What? 
12th of November? Why is that date familiar? Oh, I wonder. I've booked to see Bjorn again. Have to give this a miss. You're going to give your own engagement party a miss? Well, now, to be fair, as I've attributed to school, they're the best in the country. They really are the genuine article. Except, by definition, they're not. They're a tribute act. You're an arsehole act.